Hey guys, Bill here from North Coast Cigar Review and welcome to The Burn. Uh, we have a real nice cigar to review for you today, something I've not had, so I'm pretty excited. Um, and this cigar, I tell you, is packaged pretty well, presented very nicely. Check this out. The St. Louis Ray uh, Maduro Especial Robusto. It has a beautiful presentation, um, so it looks like something that might be, uh, might be a pretty good smoke here. It's got a 90 rating on it, and it's something that I've never tried. Um, but before we get started, I just want to thank everybody for liking and sharing the Facebook page and checking out the YouTube channel. Um, also, those of you that have posted pictures on the Facebook page uh, with your cigar of choice over the last couple weeks, you are entered in that drawing to win the uh, Oliva Siri V, which was the number one cigar in the world two years ago. So uh, that's a really nice prize. So keep posting those pictures um, and uh, we'll pick a winner. And with that being said, let's get to this cigar. All right, guys, uh, St. Louis Ray, cigar company that's been around the block a few times, right? Uh, initially produced in Cuba and then bounced over to the Dominican Republic for a while, and now they're produced in uh, Honduras. So it's going to have uh, the Honduran uh, roots to this cigar now. So been around for a while, long-lasting company, just kind of relocated and re-released several times, um, but always had a very good reputation. However, not a cigar that I've uh, had the chance to smoke before, so this will be a first for me. Um, so something we talked about here right off the bat was the presentation. I'm loving this uh this wrapper here you know typically you don't see that you typically have just the wrapper and the cigar band here but i like that right there right it makes them ads for a nice little presentation i know that's what caught my eye with this cigar um let's talk some specs so we have a robusto here five inches long 50 ring standard size robusto right but right off the bat i know what everybody's seeing here let me remove this band <laughs> that's the color this is a beautiful Mexican Maron Maduro wrapper. I mean, it is very, very dark. This is the type of Maduro coloring um, that I expected to see on the Partagas Black last week. Uh, but like I had said that during that review, that cigar was a little lighter because of the harvest that year. This is a very, very dark cigar. And I'm telling you, like the, the video is not doing justice how dark it is. I am wearing a Cleveland Browns who lost today. What else is new? Um, hoodie here, but you can see the difference between that brown and the color in this cigar. So this is significantly darker. Um, as far as uh, filled tobacco here, we're going to have uh, Nicaraguan uh, and Honduran uh, uh, fill tobacco in there. Binder in this, check it out, Peruvian. That ought to make pretty nice, right? So Mexican, Peruvian, Nicaraguan, Honduran, we got a really nice blend of tobaccos here. Um, and from what I understand, St. Louis Ray, is a, they're very good at uh, blending the, the tobaccos to make a very smooth, uh, smooth flavor profile in the cigar. So uh, one of the things that's kept them around so long is that ability to blend. So I'm literally looking forward uh, to how that's going to taste. Um, overall construction, though, looks pretty good. Like I said, that wrapper is really nice. I do have uh, some definite, some bumping here on the sides. And I'm wondering if that's veins from the leaves on the inside it might be the vein from the um the end from the binder in there uh so we'll see how that burns right there i have my uh my bugatti torch though so i mean anything that we run into we should be able to handle um cap looks very nice on this um it is a very like i said very dark wrapper it's also got a nice oil to it uh which is something that i always like because that really does make for a richer uh flavored cigar so Pretty nice looking cigar overall. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Uh, we're gonna use a punch on this one to get it open, or to get it cut. Uh, not gonna, I haven't been used my nipper in a while. I really like this, this punch that's been on the bottom of this lighter since I picked it up. So uh, I wanna go ahead and go with that. Boom, look at that, and that is just a beautiful cut right there. Okay, so interesting, 
and that first hit. I always like the first hit of the cigar. Um, to me, it gives a very distinct flavor, um, something that's going to change pretty pretty quickly. So that first hit tells me a lot. Um, very earthy, very earth dirt um, leather right off the bat. Boom, there it is. So that's going to change as we go along, I'm sure. So, uh, But I always like that, that first initial draw. So I'm going to kick back. I'm going to uh, enjoy this cigar here, uh, and I will check back with you a quarter of the way in, halfway in, and then three quarters to give you an overall rating on the St. Louis Ray uh, Maduro Reserve Especial. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're about a quarter of the way through this St. Louis Ray uh, Maduro Reserve Especial. And I got to tell you, got a little spice to it, right? So kind of expected that they're known for being a full flavored cigar. And this is 100% full flavor. Um, it was real, real uh, heavy on the spice note in the beginning. It started to taper off a little bit. And it's really starting to blend into just that overall um, full flavored, rich, heavy smoke. Um, pretty good, pretty nice. Not overly uh, uh, harsh or anything like that. Um, blended very well, getting a lot of wood, a lot of cedar out of this cigar. Um, heavier, a little bit heavier on the uh, on the earth. You know, I said that at the beginning. I really do believe that first hit that you take uh, when you're laying the cigar is going to tell you a lot about the smoke. Um, right off the bat, I got a lot of leather, and I got a lot of earth, and I'm still getting that that big earth note out of it. Um, and again, the spice. I still have a little bit. I can feel it there uh, in my throat still. So overall, pretty good. If you're looking for, a, like I said, a full flavor, heavy smoke, this St. Louis Ray uh, is going to live up to that bill. So, um, so far, so good. Stay tuned. We're going to keep, uh, I'm going to keep smoking this cigar and I'll let you know what I feel about halfway into it. All right, gentlemen, we are a little past halfway, approaching three quarters here on the St. Louis Ray. Um, and let me tell you something, this is a full-flavored cigar. It's definitely a big smoke, right? Um, probably one of the stronger cigars I've had this year. A um, lot, uh, lot of spice notes still. It did mellow out. It's blended very well, but it mellowed out, um, and uh, it, you know it's not as uh, prominent as it was before, but it's definitely there. A lot of wood, a lot of earth, a lot of leather. Everything you expect of a really full-flavored cigar. Um, but, that being said, it's very enjoyable. It's just prepare yourself for a big smoke, right? I've not had a St. Louis Ray, so this is my first uh, foray into their cigars. Um, and now that I know going forward, this is something that's going to be a big, uh, big hitter, right? So, um, full-flavored. Overall, though, very good. Good burn on the cigar, right? You know, we talked about. I talked a little about in the beginning that they had some uh, some bumping there from what I thought the binder probably had some bigger veins. It actually burned really well. That didn't cause any kind of runs or anything like that. Um, I got a little bit of canoeing, but nothing too bad at all. Um, but overall, really, really, uh, really good smoke. Um, so again, if you're looking for a full flavored cigar, that's something you like. Something that's going to have straight Ligero. Something that's going to have um, just a bigger punch to it, look for the St. Louis Ray because this thing will deliver the knockout punch every time you hit it, I'm telling you. So overall, I'm going to give this guy, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, you know, first impression of it, first time ever having it, um, it's a good smoke. A little stronger than I typically like. I do like a full-flavored cigar. This is just pretty heavy for me. Um, but a good full-flavored smoke, good construction, Beautiful wrappers, nice blend of, uh, of tobaccos here. So overall, 8 out of 10. I think I paid $6, $6.50 or something like this. Uh, it's a pretty affordable smoke. Um, comes in uh, a couple different sizes. It does come in the Robusto, comes in a Churchill, and it does come in a Torpedo. Uh, so depending on the shape and size that you like in your smokes, they do have a, a bit of a, a choice for you. So uh, overall, like I said, 8 out of 10. Um, it's pretty good smoke. So guys, thanks for watching. Remember, again, uh, like and share the Facebook page. Check out that YouTube channel. And remember, post those videos or those pictures of, uh, your, of yourself smoking uh, your favorite cigar here the rest of this month. And I'm going to pick a winner for that Oliva Siri V. So again, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, 
Smoke them if you got them.